Hey guys, what's going on? JK, your brother in this struggle here. Today I'm going to be answering a question which was asked by one of the brothers in our implementation program. The reason I'm answering this particular question is because quite a few men are confused about this concept and it is important. I'm probably one of the few guys who talks about ending your behavior with pornography and masturbation, who also speaks about this. And the question is, what is the difference between goals, fantasies, and visualization? Now this is not an unusual question to come up in my group because I do believe that ending your behavior with pornography and masturbation, the process of rebooting is the process of regaining the things that you lost to this out of control behavior. So maybe you lost opportunities to be in certain relationships, opportunities to do well in certain careers, opportunities to whatever, start a business on the side, live in a different place, all those things. I expect you to start going for them once you begin the rebooting process. However, the example that this brother gave was that he said when he was in his, you know, early 20s and late teens, he set a goal and he didn't know what it was a goal, but he's like, I'm going to be a baller by the age of 25. This might sound funny, but a lot of guys just have this as a goal. Like I'm going to be rich or I'm going to be a baller or I'm going to be a player by the age of 25. Well, I'm gonna tell you what the difference is. Cause he was like, was this a fantasy? Cause he's like, I feel it was a fantasy. Well, a fantasy is something which you have in your head, which has a very little chance of becoming a reality. Let's talk about our sexual fantasies, for instance. Many of us have sexual fantasies, things that we wanna do, but it's not real. The fear we have around our fantasies is that we're always afraid that if we express our fantasies to other people, they would think that we really wanted to do them right but that's not the truth fantasies stay in our head you can imagine whatever the hell you want to imagine in your head it might even be worse than pornography but if it never comes out into the real world then you're good to go the problem becomes when pornography hijacks these fantasies and actually starts playing them for us on a screen and then we start masturbating to them and we start believing that we can actually have these things in real life when we can't doesn't mean all fantasies can't come through, it just means there's a very high price to pay when it comes to fantasies. So that's fantasy. Maybe this was a fantasy for this brother, but the second is visualization. And visualization is the process, this is my definition of, is the process of training your subconscious mind to achieve your goals. And that means using all your senses. You're using your sense of sight, sound, touch, taste, when you imagine something that you would like to accomplish, a goal ideally, not a fantasy. <laughs> and what you do is that the beautiful thing about your subconscious mind is that it cannot tell the difference between a real and a vividly imagined experience. And so when you vividly imagine an experience, which means using all your senses, feeling it, touching it, tasting it, seeing it, and all that hearing it, it is more likely to become real because you activate your reticular activating system. You can look that up. I'm not going to explain it again, but basically you activate a function in your brain that makes you hyper aware of all the things that you want in your life. Things like, let's say when you buy a car, you start noticing that car everywhere on the road. Well, it's the same thing with visualization. When you vividly imagine a goal, you start seeing signs of that goal everywhere. And it makes it so much more real for you as opposed to when you hadn't visualized it, you didn't really believe that you could accomplish it. So it just wasn't in your frame of reality. And the final one is goals. And I like the old school definition of goals being a dream with a deadline, right? There's also a concept of smart goals. So smart goals are goals which are, I believe it's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-based okay i think i got that right but basically goals are things which you don't just set a goal and say you're going to accomplish it there has to be a way that you're going to accomplish it there has to be a time as to when you're going to accomplish it it has to be something which is actually feasible within the realm of reality not like i want to be an astronaut in two years that is not achievable and it may not even be relevant to what is happening in your life that might just be a fantasy it has to be measurable you have to be able to look at yourself days down the line or months down the line and ask yourself how much closer 
am I to accomplishing this? And of course, it has to be very specific. This brother used the example of being a baller by 25, but there's nothing specific about that. There's nothing measurable about that. Is it achievable? Well, it doesn't even matter if you're not specific about it. Is it relevant? I don't know. Why does he want to have that goal? Is it just to feel good? Is that what you want your priority to be? Like, is it for other people to look at you and you feel good because of the validation that you're getting from them? And then time base was the only thing that he had right there. So I hope that answers the question. Basically, the differences between fantasy, between visualization and between goals. And if someone asks you like, hey, man, what is your goal in five years from now or two years from now, specifically regarding your out of control behavior with pornography and masturbation? You want to sit down and ask myself, man, is this a goal? or is this a fantasy, right? And I hope these differentiation I've done today will help you determine what that answer would be for yourself. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. I'm at my destination, I gotta go, but I hope you found this helpful. Take care, bye.